my name is Heather and I am the Digital Education Coordinator here at the National Library. Before we start this short video, I'll just turn off the camera. Before we start today's video, I would like to pay my respects to the Ngunnawal and Ngambri people on whose land this video was recorded. I acknowledge the deep and enduring connection of all Indigenous Australians to country and I pay my deepest respects to Elders past, present and emerging. I would also like to extend my respects to the traditional owners of the lands from which you may be joining me today, including the Kamaragal people on whose country I grew up on in Sydney's northern suburbs. All right, so let's launch into our subject today. This year for Bastille Day, the national holiday of France, we thought to share with you a great French language resource that is online and freely accessible. In this short discovery video, we will discover Le Courrier Australian, a French English bilingual publication that is one of Australia's oldest surviving foreign language newspapers. It is available online and at your fingertips through Trove. In fact, you can see it here on the screen in front of you, the very first edition of Le Courrier Australian printed on Saturday the 30th of April, 1892. From this time until 2011, this newspaper was in print format. These issues have now been digitised and are available to view through Trove. The Courier Australian is not all written in French language, as you might assume. In fact, it is an interesting combination of both French and English language articles. When it first started back in the late 1800s, it was one of the only sources of information about news and events in France and other Francophone countries, such as Belgium, as well as Francophile events that were happening here in Australia. The newspaper covers a range of subjects such as science and trade, literature and fine arts, fashion, visits from French personalities to Australia, politics, the First and Second World Wars, and other content relating to politics more broadly. There are advertisements for products and companies and notices much like other newspapers. The list really does go on about what you can expect to find here. Le Courier is excellent if you are interested in learning more about history as it relates to the French community in Australia and French and Australian history and relations generally. Today, Le Courier Australian is a website. It covers everything the newspaper covered in terms of the content and advertisements, and you can still access the content in both French and English languages. So let's have a look at Le Courier Australian in context. I will show you how to do a basic search, how to download, an article and where to find citation information in Trove. Lastly, parlez-vous français? Do you speak French or are you learning to read and write in French? I will show you how you can make this amazing resource more discoverable by correcting articles that have been incorrectly transcribed by the OCR, that is the Optical Character Recognition Software. As you can imagine, the words often get jumbled and the special characters such as the Grav accent the acute accent or the cedilla that squiggle under the C in Francais aren't recognised. If you are interested in French history and how it connects with Australian history, you might find this is a simple and fun way to get involved and learn along the way. Okay, let's redirect now to the Trove homepage and take a look at a basic search. I'll click on the Trove icon and that will redirect us to the homepage. Okay, there are two simple ways to do a basic search. The first one, you can jump straight in and use the title of the newspaper as keywords and type them into the search bar. Change the category to newspapers and gazettes and hit search and away we go. You can see here there is a long list of results. To reduce this list, use the panel on the right, limiting the results as you like. Let's click on title, for example, so that we know the content we're looking at comes from Le Courier. And for something fun, we can limit the category or type of content to humour. In this case, there is only one article showing. So let's click on this. In fact, it is an article that includes cartoons created by the Numia-born cartoonist Emile Mercier, 
During his lifetime, Mercier contributed cartoons to many different Australian newspapers. His cartoons are witty and comment on the daily life of Australians as they were during his lifetime. In this case, the article and cartoons cross over two pages. Using this handy tab up the top, you can simply browse through these pages as you would if you had the paper in front of you and flip from page to page. Here we can zoom in and have a look at the detail of some of his cartoons. We can also zoom out and view the cartoons in context. So now that we've had a look at this way of doing a basic search, let's go back to the Trove homepage and look at another option to browse issues of the Courier Australian. Now that we're back on the homepage, all we need to do is click on the Explore tab at the top here. And underneath the Browse Newspapers and Gazettes, we're gonna open the browser. From here, we'll go to Browse Titles and under the column of titles A to Z, we'll go down to L. Carefully scroll down the list of titles in the L category until you happen upon the Career Australian. Now you'll see a column with the life dates from 1892 all the way to 2011. I'm particularly interested in the period of the 1940s so why don't we have a look at the 1945 issue? And if we go to July, given that we're thinking about Bastille Day, and we're in luck, we can see that we have Friday the 13th, the day before Bastille Day. We click on that. And what we have is a list of pages for that issue. If I click on the I symbol on the right hand side, that will bring up the first page in its entirety. If I click on the reset zoom button, it will center the first page here. If I hover over the different articles on this page and click, you'll see that I'm presented with an option to read this particular article. Or you can use the list on the left hand side and select which article you would like to read. As you can see here, the article at the bottom, France's National Day, is written in English, whereas the other articles here are in French language. If I click on the second article, we can see the image is highlighted. The image shows a scene of the storming of the Bastille on the 14th of July, 1789 and which was the event that marks the beginnings of the French Revolution and the change from monarchy to republic. Now suppose you are interested, like we are today, in Bastille Day in the history of this French National Day in Australia, you might choose to download one of these articles that you see on this front page. If we click on this one here, it's a very small article, but quite informative because it gives us some idea about who was attending different functions for France's National Day back in 1945 and in Sydney. So let's have a look at how you can download this article if it was of particular interest to you. All you need to do is go over to the left hand side, click on the download button here. And as I said, you can select the type of format that you'd like to download the article to, whether that's as an image, a PDF or as text. The resolution of the images and text downloaded is not high and the content found here is intended for personal private use and research purposes. With that in mind, let me show you here where the citation information lives. This is very handy. The details of this particular article and the newspaper issue generally can be found under details. You will first find a persistent URL in case you want to refer to the article and find it later again, or a persistent URL for the page. And you will see that there are different citation styles available.
At the very bottom, you will find an option to export the citation to reference software, such as EndNote. And lastly, en français, a little bit of text correcting goes a long way. So let's redirect to a French language article on this page by simply returning to the view all articles on this page option. Reset the zoom so we can see the whole page. Let's click on the third article we can see from the list which you can see here isn't so clear. However, we can make out in that first line, the invitation formelle du président. Let's have a look over here on the left-hand side. In order to text correct, all you need to do is click on the small pencil. That will then highlight the line of text from the article that you're about to correct. And we can see here that as I correct L apostrophe, l'invitation formelle du, in this case, président. And if we click save, you'll see that it now has saved that text. And now that I have text corrected that small portion and I'm logged into my account here, I can click on text corrections and you'll see that the text correction I just made is now available for me to view in my list. It notes here that it's one line and I can be redirected to that article there. But if you enjoy this comprehension exercise and want to do more, you have the option to simply return where you left off if you are logged in. Or you can use the persistent URL as I showed you earlier in the details section. And that will take you back to the article and you can make anonymous contributions there. Bon fête national et à bientôt. We look forward to you viewing more of our discovery videos and learning more about the National Library's collection and the great resources we have available for you. Thank you very much.